update of the e-mini futures of the Standard & Poor's 500. As we expected last week, the movement that we witnessed uh, two weeks ago was a counter-trend movement. Uh, that, that was a possibility. That possibility took place. As we can see, it was uh, the level we expected, 1370. That was the, the main target we expect that uh, till that point we were in for a only a counter trend and then we could uh, go for a, an additional upward movement uh, with a new high before a severe um, down reversal again. As we expected, the 1370 level was a level for a, for a, for a stop of the downturn. And as we can see after that, we have a technical pullback to the 1400 level. Uh, this is the critical moment for the E-mini. If we can achieve a new uh, break to the upside of the 1400 level, we can expect that we are going to see uh, this probability of the 54% uh, of new high uh, taking place. And as we can see, uh, even that at 1441, we uh, approach and reach the 1450 main target we have to the upside, uh, we could see that if 1400 is broken to the upside again in a consolidated way, the 54% chance of uh, probability of a new high will trigger and we will reach the main target of the upwards movement that we were expecting at 1450. Uh, the analysis uh, if this scenario is correct, will be the same as it was a month ago. If we can approach 1450, we have to see if 1450 could be broken to the upside to reach a more uh, ambitious target of 1500. This scenario is yet to be to be confirmed, but at the at this point, we have to concentrate that if 1400 is broken to the upside, the 54% chance of a new high will trigger uh, a look for the 1450 level as a resistance level. If we can't cross 1400 level, we will uh, confirm that this was only a technical pullback to the uh, mm, closely uh, broken support and this support will become a resistance and this uh, scenario could, tr could trigger a major uh, meltdown in the E-mini since if this 1400 level uh, becomes resistance again, we could, could expect that this was uh, one wave and this is the second wave of uh, an downwards impulse. If we can see the, um, the chart of, uh, in a weekly term, we can see that this is a perfect ABC and this could be only an X wave uh, so uh, we can expect that uh, the 4050 target reached uh, two weeks ago was uh, the main point to become uh, a critical point to unfold a downwards movement that emulate the movement from 1590 more or less to the zone of 1250. So if even in this scenario, if we uh, decide a downwards movement in a stern way, we have only 25% probability of a new low uh, breaking 1250 as a support. This is too low to uh, be able to uh, make room to a break to the of the 1250 level. So as in the short term, we have to expect two days to see if 1400 could be broken or not. Uh, the e mini uh, chart and the SPY chart are weak than the NASDAQ QQQQ. If you see the QQQQ, the possibility for continuation to the upside is more clear. So even though, uh, even in that situation, we have to expect uh, two days to see if 1400 is becoming a resistance or not. If it's not becoming a resistance and it's broken to the upside, we have warranty 50% uh, probability of a new high on the zone of 1450. If we see the SPY chart instead of the mini futures, as we can see the, the downturn line, the dynamic resistance line we were talking over a month ago, um, we see that when it was broken, make, uh, 
possible the the look for the 1450 level uh, in this situation we are in the same place but in a lower uh, in a lower uh, zone uh, this time it's not 1420 now it's 1400 so if we can cross this dynamic turn line in a strong way the 54 percent chance probability of a new high will trigger and we will approach 1450 the next two days will be critical to see if this downturn line and the 1400 level could be broken to the upside or not or if this zone will become a resistance if this is the scenario the uh, the downturn uh, resume will be uh, extremely dynamic and will could trigger a uh, look for the 1300 level in matter of weeks